हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ मैजिक स्क्वायर्स वन ऑफ द टिपिकल मैजिक स्क्वायर इज रिटर्न हियर दिस इज ए थ्री बाई थ्री मैजिक स्क्वायर इट इन्वॉल्व थ्री रोज एंड थ्री कॉलम्स एंड राइटिंग नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन सच दैट द रो टोटल इन ईच रो इज सेम हियर इन दिस केस द रो टोटल इज फिफ्टीन एट प्लस वन नाइन नाइन प्लस सिक्स फिफ्टीन so you add the three numbers in any row you will get the sum 15 3 plus 5 8 plus 7 15 4 plus 9 13 plus 2 15 similarly in columns 8 plus 3 11 plus 4 15 1 plus 5 6 plus 9 15 6 plus 7 13 plus 2 15 and even if you see the diagonal elements they will also add up to 15 like 8 plus 5 13 and 2 15 6 plus 5 11 plus 4 15 so this is one typical magic square which i have drawn here on uh, on the board just to tell you uh, what a magic square exactly is now today i am going to tell you one such magic square involving four rows and four columns that is called a 4 by 4 magic square now this magic square is unique why because here the sum of the numbers is only one that is 15 it cannot have a sum greater than 15 or less than 15 but in a 4 by 4 magic square which i am going to discuss today you can have the sum of the four numbers in each row or in each column equal to 34 or any greater number than 34 yes so this involves a lot of calculations lot of unique methodologies which i'll just demonstrate to you and after seeing this video even you will be able to draw any number of such magic squares and these kinds of tricks are to be used by teachers for taking the adjustment periods in school where they have enough time to uh, deal with the students to interact with the students and even for developing good numerical ability and reducing the mathematics fear among the students so that they can learn mathematics in a joyful manner now this 4 by 4 square has 16 cells 16 squares so i will be using 12 of them for writing numbers from 1 to 12 and the remaining four numbers depends on what total we want from each row and from each column to make the things more clearer i'll just demonstrate to you one such magic square see first of all i have to write numbers from 1 to 12 so these are the numbers from 1 to 12 and out of these 12 numbers also i am going to use the numbers 1 to 8 first so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the eight numbers which i am going to use first then i'll fill up 9 10 11 and 12 now for filling up these eight numbers what i do is i write the table of 18 say 18 ones are 18 18 twos are 36 18 threes are 54 and 18 fours are 72 observe in this four numbers the table of 18 the first four multiples of 18 that we use all the digits from 1 to 8 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i am going to write these eight in these cells there is a particular method for that i will write 18 here this is 18 now 36 36 now 54 and finally 72 so i have filled up eight cells out of 16 using the digits 1 to 8 which are involved in first four multiples of 18 now the next four numbers out of these four numbers nine always occupies the corner cell this corner cell is occupied by nine and 10 11 and 12 i go zigzag like this 10 11 and 12 so this 
so 9 10 11 and 12 the place is again fixed so now suppose you ask your friend what sum you want in this room let me remind you that the sum of the four numbers in each row or in each column can be 34 or above it cannot be less than 34 but you can have a higher number so i'll take the preliminary example of 34 only right now so let us take let us say that your friend tells you that i want the sum of the four numbers to be 34 so what you do is now i will label these four empty cells as a this is one empty cell this is b then this is c and this is d now i have to fill this a b c d according to the sum which i need now the sum of the numbers which i need is 34 so this is the method for filling up the remaining four cells a b c and d now for filling up cell a what you do whatever sum you are being given just subtract 20 from this you have to always subtract 20 from the sum you, uh, you are required to get so you get 14 so a becomes 14 b and c are very easy what you do is this is a plus 1 a is 14 so 14 plus 1 15 c is b plus 1 b is 15 so 15 plus 1 16 so these three numbers will come in uh, succession so consecutive numbers and d will be a minus 1 less 1 less than a so a is 14 here so 14 minus 1 is 13 now i have got all the remaining four digits so i will leave these as per a b c d as labeled in this so a is 14 B is 15, C is 16 and D is 13. Now you see the process is complete and this magic square will give you a sum of 34 in all rows like 14 plus 1 15, 15 plus 12 27 plus 7 34. 11 plus 8 19 19 plus 13 32 plus 2 34 and so on you will get 34 in each row now 34 in each column also you can verify simultaneously you have a sum of 34 diagonally also see 4 plus 10 14 14 plus 13 is 27 27 plus 7 is 34 14 plus 8 is 22 22 plus 3 is 25 25 plus 9 is again 34 and you will be amused to know that we get a sum of 34 in 24 such patterns. See, take this square. Just add 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 15, 30 plus 4, 34. Take this square. 10 plus 6, 16 plus 15, 31 plus 3, 34. 16 plus 9, 25 plus 6, 31 plus 3, 34. Now start from top. 14 plus 11, 26 plus 8, 33 plus 1, 34. 12 plus 13, 25 plus 2, 27 plus 7, 34. 12 plus 1, 13, 13 plus 13, 26 plus 8, 34. And in the middle square, 13 plus 8 is uh, 21, 21 plus 10 is 31 plus 3, 34. And even diagonally, you see, like this also. Just check 5 plus 15, 20, 20 plus 12, 32 plus 2, 34. Like this, 1 plus 11, 12, 12 plus 16, 28 plus 6, 34. Check the corners, 14 plus 7, 21 plus 9, 30 plus 4, 34. So, you take any square in this and calculate the sum, it will come out to be 34. See, 11, 13, 6 and 4, this is another square, 11, 13, 6 and 4. Now check 11 plus 13, 24, 24 plus 10, 34. Likewise, you can check 8 plus 2, 10 plus 9, 19 plus 15, 34. 
फोर्टीन प्लस ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस एट थर्टी फोर सेवन प्लस वन एट प्लस सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस टेन थर्टी फोर सो यू गेट ट्वेंटी फोर सच पैटर्न ट्वेंटी फोर सच पैटर्न इन विच द सम ऑफ द नंबर्स विल ऑलवेज बी द सेम दैट इज थर्टी फोर इन दिस केस सिमिलरली यू कैन हैव ए सम ऑफ सम अदर ऑल्सो से दिस इज द वे यू राइट Suppose I take a different example now. I am writing the same thing now. Eighteen, thirty-six, fifty-four, and seventy-two. First eight numbers. Then nine occupies the corner place. Ten, eleven, twelve is zigzag. And now I need a different sum. You can ask your friend to tell you a sum. Whatever sum he says, you can bring out that magic square. So now he tells you to bring out a magic square in which the sum of the numbers is forty-five. Now what you do is. Subtract twenty from forty-five, you get twenty-five. So write twenty-five here. Increase it by one. In place of B, write twenty-six. In place of C, increase it further by one, twenty-seven. And then twenty-five minus one gives you twenty-four. So last cell will be twenty-four. And now if you check twenty-four patterns, the sum of the numbers obtained in four numbers is always forty. Isn't that amazing? Maths is such fun. Mathematics can give you moments of recreation, moments of pleasure, and it can create such an environment in which you can spend long, long hours in your books and still do not feel fatigued, do not feel tired. My appeal to all the teachers: please be resourceful. Have a bag full of these kind of tricks. these kind of methods so that you can convince the students that mathematics is really a joy to learn so keep learning and share and subscribe the video if you like it